a lot of people ask me what was the difference between mixing back in the day and today in the DAW. Back in the day, if you had one of those, you knew everything was in its place. Compression, EQ, filter, effect sense, faders, bus compressor. When you do a mix in a DAW, you need to put together your own environment and template and sometimes this environment is not as thought through as it was in one of those. This is what Mixtemple Pro does and it's now out for Cubase 10, 10.5 and higher. We've done an extensive tutorial about it and you can watch it now. Let me introduce you to the template first. Right at the top we set up a song structure using markers for you to keep track of the song while playing and also skip through using the numbers on your keyboard. At the left side there are all the audio tracks already set up like drums, bass, guitars, piano, orchestra, backing vocals and lead vocals, even some parallel buzzes on the drums, everything you need in the mix. All these audio tracks are connected to the VCA faders just like on a real console for you to easy mix and match. All the audio tracks are summed in our mix bus section. We are using dedicated mix buses for drums, instruments and vocals. That lets us process the drums individually using different amounts of compression in DQ and leave some space for the vocals and even automate the lead vocals bus. All these buses then get summed into a master bus which we print our final mix from. Let's have a look at the effects section. We set up different effects for you like lead vocal reverb, lead vocal delay, modulation, drum rooms, snare reverbs, instrumental halls, everything you need in the mix. But we're using a special technique. So let's say we are sending to the lead vocal reverb. The send gets split into three different reverbs. A lead vocal plate, a lead vocal room and a lead vocal concert hall. These different reverbs come to different returns here on different faders and now we can combine these reverbs. Like for example, a singer-songwriter maybe needs some more room ambient sound but not so much plate. Maybe the next mix we are doing is a pop production, so we're using a lot of plate reverb to create a lush sounding reverb but maybe less room. So you see that's super universal and matches to every mix you ever do. The track preset library contains different channel strips and plugin chains for every single instrument. That means you no longer have to load plugin by plugin bras through your whole library, but rather can load a whole chain with simple clicks. Let me show you. For example, I want some lead vocal processing. So I go to from track preset. Now I have to make sure I enable the location tree. And there I can go to user content, track presets, audio, and there's the folder mix Temple Pro. So let's select vocals, lead vocals, and now I can choose from different manufacturers. Let's say I want to try out a Waves lead vocal chain. I go to lead vocals classic, double click, and the whole chain loads within seconds. So now I have the classic, classic lead vocal chain described in the book like a vocal rider, de-esser, MEQ, pull tags, the whole chain. Maybe I'm not happy with the chain and want to compare it to something else. So I just choose another one. Let's try, let's try a slate chain. Maybe I want a more natural lead vocal sound. And there I have it. A de-esser followed by the virtual tape machine and some very gentle processing here from the virtual mix track. You see, it's super easy to load whole chains and it saves a lot of time. Mixtemple Pro also comes with the plugin Halls of Fame we are using on the reverbs. And this is how it looks. It features an EQ, a damping section, which is basically a soft EQ, input and output control, trim start and trim end, pre-delay and attack and release. But since it's an impulse response reverb plugin, it's all about the presets. 
and we included some serious classics here. For example, many different settings from the Brucasti M7, the EMT250, Lexicon 960 and Lexicon 480. You see, there's a lot going on and you can choose from a lot of classic reverbs.